am Melissa Arada. I'm coming from Up a Baby at the ABC show in Vegas. Uh, Holly wanted me to go over our new convertible car seat, the Knox. Now, if you think what is the most unparalleled uh, safety and security in the Bryce. U.S., Fort Knox. And that's what the Up a Baby Knox is going to be looking for you today. So it's a rear facing okay. convertible to forward facing. We go rear facing from 14 pounds to 65, or rear facing rather 14 to 40, forward facing 25 to 65. And I'm sorry this is all dismantled, but I wanted to jump right in and show you the installation first and foremost. So we have this great little door we're gonna tuck up here. One of the things about Uppa Baby products is we always like to, you know, make the lives of parents easier. So everything we do is intentional from a labeling perspective and color coding. And as you know, rear facing, as you've seen in our Mesa, anything rear facing on the car seat is blue. So the belt guides here are the same. The rear facing belt guides are well marked in blue, forward facing belt guides well marked in red. Similar to the Mesa, we've incorporated our Smart Secure uh, system, which lets parents know the first time and every time that their car seat is correctly installed. So to do the installation, I'm just going to slide over here and grab the belt. They said they gave me like an Impala for a demo <laughs> seat, but let's see. So you're going to route through these belt guides here. Apologize that it's sometimes easier in a car than on a demo bench. You're going to route the belt through, make sure it's not twisted, and then latch it, or buckle it rather. You're going to take the, the lap belt portion and you're going to route it behind the shield here. And this shield is where our tensioning system comes into play. So you make sure that that goes nicely underneath here. Remove any slack, make sure that's engaged. And then similar to the Mesa, another without a lock in order to lock the belt. You're going to push down into the seat bite and we have the Smart Secure window. Now these are prototypes, these are T1 models. They've all been crashed because they are tooled parts, but the Smart Secure window may be a little finicky. What you're going to do is you're going to push down into the seat bite and as you push down, you'll see, as I pull this, that red to green window goes, that red to green window starts to change. And then you're going to route off to the lock off over here, underneath, on the shoulder side. And that is all you need to do to get a tight install. This is rigid, it's not going anywhere. While I'm in rear facing mode, I'm just going to bring up a couple of other things. I'm going to talk about our side impact protection. So as you can see, we have this very robust headrest. It's a combination of EPP and memory foam. One of the things about parents, we love to squish. So this EPP and memory foam is all um, intentional. It's for side impact protection that grows with your child. In addition to that EPP foam that I'm talking about, we've blown it in through the shell, in the inner and outer part of the shell, to form a crash mitigation foam. That coupled with these side impact pods on, over here is EPP foam with a conical feature that could collapse in the case of a side impact crash. All those coupled together give you a really nice crash protection story. Nine, product, nine position headrest, four position recline, and more importantly, a 30 degree range of motion. So the recline position gives you what, what all the competitors are to really make sure that you get recline angles that are best for your child in rear facing and forward facing mode. The biggest distinctive factor or feature of our seat is actually our universal tether. So one of the things, tethers oftentimes, I, I liken them to stoptional stop signs, you know, the ones with the white bar around it. People don't think that this is something that you really need to use. It's an afterthought or an oversight. Everyone's focused on latch, but they don't realize that latch actually stands for lower anchor and tether for children. So this tether in forward facing mode is what you've seen in most convertible, or all convertible car seats by law. You simply route it in behind, install your seat forward facing, route it behind into the headrest of the back of the seat. We're going to introduce it to second function. And as you can see, we did a nice yellow housing and hook. This is something that is intentionally want to make sure that you use it. And then in rear facing mode, it will reduce, reduce the rotation. And we've actually had amazing um, crash results from the first round of testing that this reduced hick scores by as much as 38%. So your head injury criteria scores are dramatically reduced using this tether. So what you're going to do is route it underneath these guides here. This is all steel reinforced. And then you're going to come on the side that, so say my, my um, inboard side's here, this is the door side. I'm going to route this underneath here, along the side of the seat, back underneath here. And then tether it in the car to the latch to the anchor point. This is a really incredible feature because unfortunately with the car seats and the size of them, the convertibles, and the cost associated with it, you don't see a load leg yet in the US with the convertible seat. So this universal tether actually takes away that rotation and reduces hip
So let me see if there's anything else. I think I covered it all today. We have a nice bead level indicator on the side so that on either side parents know to get their child, especially with younger children. We are facing to make sure they have proper airway management. Um, one other feature, this will ship, um, it'll be available in the summer. Um, it'll ship with a nice infant insert that's a, a more of like an infant, infant comfort pad. That'll be used for the first few months. Um, we will also, because it is a seat rated from 14 to 65 pounds, we are going to sell an added accessory. And that is going to be a more robust infant insert to allow parents who want to use this, especially grandparents or caregivers, um, from five pounds to, you know, from birth. Uh, so that's the knock. If you have any questions, let me know.